Hey guys, just out here working on Project NASCART. I've come a long ways in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I've been working on it pretty heavily uh, in the evenings after work and on the weekends. Uh, skipped a couple weekends up at the cabin. Uh, there was no more snowmobiling to be done up there. So we decided to stay home and get the uh, golf cart done here. Uh, as you can see, it's painted now. And once it's out in the sun, this thing's going to sparkle. Uh, I have so much metal flake in it. If you look down here in the hood, it looks real rough and bumpy. Can't really pick it up with the shop lights, but this thing has metal flake in it. Uh, I went with rainbow metal flake, so it's going to be all kinds of different colors when it's out in the sun, and it should look really cool. Got my Kreger SS hubcaps on it. I got all my tubing work done. I kind of skipped through this project uh, as far as videos. I didn't do many. I only did a couple on this thing uh, just because every time I was working on it, I was just concentrating on working on trying to get the thing done in a short period of time. But this is that the tubing I was talking about on how I had it rolled to match my wheel wells. And now that the cart's painted, in my opinion, it just looks like that's how it should have been. Um, I love the look. Instead of the rubber running all the way around it, I like how it's color matched to the cart now. Um, I really like how it turned out. I'm, I'm glad I did what I did. It was an extensive amount of work to do this especially down in the lower parts down here where I had to segment the tubing to create such a tight radius on them. Uh, but all the work I put into them, I'm glad. I like the way it turned out. Uh, this morning what I'm doing is working on mounting the utility box on it. I put some clear tape, kind of a protective, over the top of these fenders. Uh, they're going to be pretty much covered the rest of their life now. I don't ever have plans on taking the box off. But I put this on here just to kind of protect them so they don't get scratched up or anything like that. You can eventually get that tape off. I probably wouldn't recommend trying to do it, but that's what I chose to do was to put that tape on there to kind of protect the top of the fenders. And I didn't do any of the body work on them either. They're dented in because I, I knew it was going to get covered anyways, so I didn't spend any time on body work up there. Body work I did was on the fenders uh, on the back, and I was kind of torn on doing it because uh, I didn't want to spend a lot of time on doing body work on something that I plan on kind of driving into the brush to haul out logs and, and wood and stuff. And I didn't want to, you know, prevent it from driving in the brush. Like, no, it's got too nice of a paint job. No, it's too nice body work on it. I don't want to get scratched up. So I kind of held back a little bit on the body work. I did it. It's not perfect. Uh, if you look down it, I'm sure you could pick out some flaws in it. But it turned out pretty decent for the quick job I did do on it. And, um, it, it turned out nice. I like it. Uh, this is kind of my like hood. Um, some people thought it was a hood scoop, but it's actually, I'm trying to replicate a little bit of a Jeep look here. And then inside right here, I'm going to end up putting a stainless panel in here with two headlights mounted in there and stuff. And that's how I'll have my headlights. And so I'll have lights for at night. Somebody suggested mounting a backup light onto the wire that I disconnected from my reverse switch that would have triggered the backup alarm come on. So I'll be wiring a backup light on the back of it via that wire. Great idea, the person that comment on that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be using that. I like that. Uh, I'll be painting this thing black yet. I just had to stick it in here to be able to mock up for getting my box mounted here. So I'll get that painted yet. I'm going to make a new bumper in the back with a tow hitch on it uh, to be able to tow a wagon and stuff around with it. I'll show you a little peek of the utility box I made. It's all out of aluminum. Uh, I just bent this stuff up, and my neighbor has an utility box on his golf cart, so I went over there and just kind of pulled some measurements. His was out of a diamond plate, like an eighth-inch steel diamond plate, and I had this sheet of aluminum, so I thought, well, I'm going to build it out of aluminum to take some weight away from it, and the tailgate does function. Uh, I found a aluminum piano hinge. I just got to put a couple more skip welds on there. I just kind of tacked it on there for now. But so I have an aluminum piano hinge mounted on there, and I'll end up drilling these corners and stuff yet to be able to drop a pin, and I'll have a chain that connects this to help support the tailgate. So that is the box, and i got to adjust some things here yet. So, But I'm just welding some framework on the bottom of this morning here, and that's how it'll mount onto the frame of the cart then. So I just have it sitting top side up right now so you guys can see that. And I might end up... Well, I know I'm going to end up bending up a tube here yet to follow this to help support this. And I might put a seat back in here and a bottom eventually too to kind of create 
an additional seating area. So my plan for the weekend is get the box all done and mounted, uh, get a new piece of plywood cut for the seat, and I have some foam for the seat. And then I haven't decided what I'm gonna do for a seat cover yet. I'm either gonna go the easy route and order one off of eBay, or I might make one. I haven't completely decided. And I have a really custom steering wheel I'm gonna be putting on here. And there's a peek at my next project right there. Uh, so that's about it on the golf cart. I gotta show you a little tease of this thing. Just pick this thing up. Anybody that watches my channel knows I'm into the uh, snowmobiles. And lately I've been getting into the 90s muscle sleds. 94 RXL 650. That's my next project. I love it. I love the color of it. Um, there'll be more videos of that one. So thanks for watching, guys. There's an update on Project NASCAR. Talk to you later.